We don't have weapons on our planet. We don't have violence. We don't have war. <laughs> Chelsea again from Geek Tank. I'm here with Gigi Answer. Yay! Yay! Hi, how Hi. are you? I'm good, how are you? Amazing! This is amazing! Amazing! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to talk with you to start about Farscape because I guess when you initially came in, you were just going to do a one off character, she was going to die, and then it was like two or three more episodes, mm. and then it's like, hey, you're full time on the show now. Yeah, it was insane. Like the way that I found out that I was sticking around was um, a script got delivered to a dressing room and it had my name on it and I was sharing a dressing room with Captain Crace at the time because we were both day players. He's like, oh, this is for you. I'm like, huh? No, I, I'm only in one episode. And he's like, um, it looks like it's got your name on it. And I was like, oh. so we both sat down on the couch and looked through it and I'm like, oh, oh my God, Chiana's in the next episode. So I called my agent and I'm like, ah! They want me for another episode. They're like, no, they don't. It's just one episode. I'm like, um, you better give them a call. And they went, all right, no worries. So then she stuck around on the ship for like, I think the whole entirety of the series was like just over five years. Mm -hmm. Thank you, universe. <laughs> But was that kind of crazy at first? You're kind of like, I don't know if this is right. Oh, I was loving every second of it. I would, I would sleep on that ship if I could. It, any, any heartbeat that I had on that set was such a blessing. I'm so grateful. Gotcha. With Tiana, she's such a firecracker. She's so just flamboyant and like out there. You know, she's all out on what? one sleeve. So <laughs> what's, what's your favorite part about her? She's brave and she's crazy and she's not afraid to be a mess, which is good. I think that's a good thing that we can remind ourselves to go through life is that sometimes we're a little bit inside out and that's okay because we're stuck to a rock in the middle of nowhere and no one really knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to be a little lost sometimes. And she was wild and totally out there. She made me very courageous because uh, I think the beautiful uh, makeup and the look really helped me be even more, uh, have, have more bravado than what I would ever have in my human skin. So that was pretty cool. Was there any <clears throat> part of her that was kind of uncomfortable at first? Yes, because she always wants to have sex everywhere. Yeah. I was like, dude, calm down. <laughs> what about the makeup? Was it pretty comfortable to stay in while shooting? Were there some like... Yeah, it was fine. Like I love, I love, I'm obsessed with anything that the Jim Henson company touches so I would do anything for them and I would put the makeup on in a heartbeat you know I just uh, it took three and a half hours every day we worked five days a week 12 to 16 hours a day for over five years and as I said before I wouldn't give a moment of that away it's very special so you joined Jim Henson's Creature Feature. Were you always like excited about puppetry or the Jim Henson Company in particular? Yeah, to work on on any Jim Henson production is just I, I feel so very very grateful. Uh, Jim Henson's Creature Shop Challenge was an amazing time in my life because it brought me back to Los Angeles. I'd been based in Australia. Uh, again for some time working on television shows there so it was very exciting to come and work back with them and all the creatures that they make you look into their eyes and you can see that there's a soul in them so you, it's very easy to connect with them. Have you ever wanted to learn 
puppetry at all, or are you just excited yeah. to like work alongside? I would be up, totally up for it. I, it fascinates me. Just I would I would sneak in early and watch them put the finishing touches on the set, and go backstage and see the creature designers working and operating different things with the with the animatronics, and and the, it, it blows my mind that they could do anything at all, like if I, 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 it would take me a week to make a sock puppet, let alone they had like two, three days, and they created these animatronic, beautiful creations, so they're amazing. Yeah. I saw the trailer for Hashtag, and it looks incredible. Hashtag is fantastic. It's a it's a, one of the many productions I've actually made with fans. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of the fans, uh, so much so uh, that my brother and I uh, have created a tour called the Wonderland Tour, and it is inspired by Hashtag and Nexus because uh, it's all come about from coming to these amazing conventions and meeting beautiful people and we wanted to give something a bit more from our heart and soul. We know Chiana's awesome, we love Farscape and the Jim Henson Creature Shop Challenge but I wanted to give you something that was directly from my heart and soul. So my brother and I are touring literally around the world, going to people's backyards, lounge rooms, um, nightclubs, venues, restaurants. Uh, If you want to check out the website, it's www.wonderland.com. Sorry, .love. Oh, my goodness. Uh, And we've got all our tour dates there and all our music, so you can check out whether you dig us and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's all of our own making, so it's probably hands down going to be the biggest adventure of our lives and probably the most special, really. And you just released a music video not too long ago, correct? Yeah, I did that with my beautiful man. I wrote him this song when we first started dating and I said one day we're going to film a music video together Mm -hmm. because in the normal average hours of of his life he has a 9 to 5 job and I'm trying to lure him to the dark side of creativity and making movies and magic and I think I'm doing a good job. (laughs) <laughs> and that's also on my website if you want to check it out, which is myname.com, shishietchley.com. Gotcha. Going back to Hashtag, um, you were acting and co-producing. Yeah. How did you kind of juggle those two different roles? Well, it's really good. I do all the work before I get on set where all the all the producing side of things, the marketing side of things, as much as I can do before I get on set because when I get on set, all I want to do is focus on the person that I'm being right there in that story Mm -hmm. Uh, and I was working with a beautiful team Runic Films and uh, it's actually going to be coming out in the next couple of months I'm super excited with all the sci-fi stuff you've been doing have you always been a sci-fi fan? I was always into more like uh, the never ending story and Dark Crystal and the Labyrinth and more phantasmagorical the storyteller like that kind of energy Mm -hmm. and Farscape was my slingshot into sci-fi and I've never looked back (laughs) (laughs) and you're definitely a strong woman in sci-fi what's that like when you get on set or is everybody excited to work with you like ready to go Uh, I feel like any second on any set is just such a blessing because it's a very challenging career and I'm very very grateful telling any story on any level with people especially on set the very first thing I do is walk up to everyone and I go hello I'm Gigi hello I'm Gigi hello I'm Gigi and everyone's like okay we get it (laughs) because it's all uh, it takes all of us to make this beautiful story and it's very important to remember that I think as an actor Mm -hmm. so I I just feel very excited like Fasket was so cool because it was such a long running show so we got to know each other really well and I think you can see that as the show goes on things get darker and more intense because we really start pushing each other's buttons. Mm -hmm. With all of the projects that you're working on, what are you most excited about right now? Wonderland, for sure. Gotcha. It's big. Like, every day, I'm thinking about it every every awake moment, every sleeping moment, I'm dreaming about it. I, at all of the stuff, we're making all the posters ourselves. I made the website myself. I'm booking all the accommodation, all the flights. Everything is all coming from, from here. So please come and check out the site um, and, and come and see the show. At the shows, we're also working with local uh, artists that like we've got a burlesque dancer we've got other bands we're playing with we've got a guy that's going to come up and do live art for us we want to make it a real community experience because we want to really enjoy the night with you so please check it out what made you decide oh like the different places to go was, did you like 
pick places where you no. can find people. I got online and I said, hey guys, we want to come and hang out with you. Do you have a place that we can jam at? And we want to jam with you. So I got people from Toronto, from Connecticut, from Arkansas, from Houston, from um, Martha's Vineyard, Australia, um, the UK, or Vegas, San Francisco, and it's just been literally fans going, geez, we want to see you in Toronto. We know a place. And well, I'm like, great, okay, let's make it happen. And every different place I, I, I make contact with, the email on the site is me, it's mine. So when you're contacting that site, it comes directly to me. And mm -hmm. that's how it's all come about. So it's all fan-made. It's all because of you guys. That's awesome. <laughs> and then one quick last question. We're all about geek acceptance in the community. Uh, what do you really geek out about? I love I'm this whole life. I, you're, you're the best family I've ever had, and I'm so appreciative to share these amazing moments together. And life's very short. We need to be good to each other and, and share beautiful moments, and that's what it's all about. So thank you for having me in the awesome world of geek. I love it. <laughs> I found my peeps. Yay. Well, thank <laughs> you so much for joining us. Thank you. Like working with puppets a lot? Do you like puppetry specifically, or were you just excited about? Oh, what's that? I don't know. That's a fire alarm. Oh no! What is that? That is a fire alarm. All right, this is Chelsea from Geek Tank. I'm here again with Gigi Edgley, post Yay. fire alarm. Too. We're so hot. We set off fire alarms. Yay! <laughs>